Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 3D Blu-ray import of Hobbs and Shaw. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Match GR podcast. I will leave a link for that in the description. All right, Hobbs and Shaw is finally here. Uh, the 3D import direct from Germany. They did not release a 3D version here in the United States, and uh, that was pretty unfortunate. But I really wanted to check this out because it, it, the movie itself is a very like epic stunt show kind of movie. So I thought that the 3D would lend itself really nicely. So we're going to talk about the picture quality and audio, but first let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw in 3D. As you can see, this is the German import. And overall, nice cover. It's got kind of a matte finish to it. And then our rear stats here. Of course, as you can see, it's in German. And, well, that would be upside down for this. And interior-wise, we have some cool artwork. Um, same thing on the front and the back here. But then we have artwork on the discs. It's just basically another... It's like, it's a reverse of the cover. It's all it is. It's so, um, yeah. Pretty cool overall. All right, so let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Okay, one of the things I love so much about 3D is the immersive factor of the film. When your world is really kind of like just giving you that extra dimension of 3D, those are the things I really enjoy so much. I'm not a huge fan of pop-outs. I think they work on occasion, but when a movie relies on them too much, that can be a bit of a problem in my opinion. So I feel that for the most part, I'm going to say that the overall 3D experience of Hobbs and Shaw is fairly good. I think it is a, actually a really good representation of the 3D format. Now, I would have probably liked a little bit more as far as depth goes. I know we get a bit of that, and it's usually relegated to, you know, your big action scenes and, and so forth. But here's the problem. A lot of the scenes that are good action oriented or heavy, they take place indoors. So you, you kind of feel closed off. It feels a little bit kind of flat at times. I think for the most part though, whenever you're outside, you're racing around in cars, or especially the third act, uh, you know, by itself, that is extreme demo material in my opinion. I think there's a lot going on and you know, you, you really feel that world. You feel like you're engaged inside of it. But once again, as I mentioned, there's a lot of interior shots that just don't really do it for me. Those are when your pop-outs kind of stick, you know, are producing themselves, you know, like an effect or like a debris or something to that, you know, like that. But I think for the most part, uh, for the, for, I would say it is a good representation of the 3D picture. Several scenes, as I said, are, you know, we're going towards uh, when they're on the island and they're just kind of, you know, having the, the big final climax and you know the helicopter scene alone is really cool it actually kind of like made me jump a little bit of how how well it was done uh car chases once again are are, are good but I, they're serviceable but i don't think they really fully utilize the 3d to its best effect as i said the weaker spots are interiors look a little flat but the outdoor stuff but for the most part you're going to get what you want now as far as audio goes it's Dolby Atmos. This thing rocks. Uh, it's a very uh, similar track as you, you would get over here on the 4K. I, th I think it's pretty much identical. And this thing is a thunder boomer. It really has a lot going for it. Uh, once again, those action scenes are really where it's going to stand out. The LFE is fairly active throughout the film. It kicks in when it needs to. And I don't feel it, it, it triggers itself on for unnecessary like little things. But I think it really works to its advantage and it's a really good overall LFE. Uh, Strat sounds are fairly active. There's a lot going on. Mostly, once again, relegated to action scenes. Minor ambience here and there. And of course, musical cues fill the, fill the room nicely. Uh, all your action up front is is fairly a uh, good representation of an Atmos track. It's really good. Uh, uh, the center channel itself, dialogues, no problem whatsoever. Very clear, easy to understand everything. Uh, your front channels sound great. There's a lot going on at any given time. Uh, they're very active. And once again, Atmos is absolutely just phenomenally welcome here as far as the 3D presentation goes. All right, so as far as the picture quality goes, I'm going to give this one a solid B+. I think it's really good. There's a lot going on at any given time. A little flat on the interiors. That's not that's not really a big problem, but, you know, for an action-heavy movie, I like to see some good stunts. It, you know, I want to be like feel like I'm in a stunt show movie, and that's kind of what this does, but that's relegated to outdoor stuff. 
Audio quality, that's a solid A plus in my opinion. I think it's really good. It's fairly fantastic, very robust, a lot going on immersively, and I think for the most part, it's it's a it's a demo worthy audio track. So that's my review of the 3D Blu-ray of Hobbs and Shaw. Let me know in the comments below if you had a chance to pick this one up and what your thoughts were. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.